Today we're overloaded with electromagnetic frequencies, EMF, and radio frequencies, RF. I'll explain exactly what they are in a minute, but first let me tell you and make it very clear for you guys that exposure to EMF and RF are really detrimental to our health and specifically the health of our children. You don't see them, you don't smell them, and many of us don't actually feel them. EMF and RF radiation are really the 21st century silent killers. They are the price that we pay for our modern conveniences and they truly have a severely negative impact on our health. So what's the difference between EMF and RF? Electromagnetic frequency EMF or EMR comes from electrical devices around us. Some of your devices have more, some have less. And it also comes from electrical lines and electrical outlets around your house. On the other hand, radio frequency, RF, comes from all of your communicating devices, like your cell phones, your routers, your neighbor's routers, the cell phone towers around your neighborhood, and every single day, our bodies are bombarded with these radiations. But the good news is you can protect yourself with only three main simple steps. Number one, determine if and where these radiations are present, where you live and where you work. Two, how strong these radiations are with the help of a device which I will show you in a minute. And three, find out how to shield and protect against these excessive radiations. Okay, let's talk about step number one and two. In order to find out if EMF and RF radiations are actually present in your home or your work area and the strength of these radiations, you need two pieces of investment for your health. A reliable EMF meter and a reliable RF meter. These two devices are all you need to determine if you're being exposed to dangerously high levels of radiation. I call them health investments because these two devices can potentially help you prevent serious health issues like cancer, insomnia, depression, and anxiety. There are even studies which have linked high EMF exposure to higher risk of suicide. So let's talk about the EMF meter. The EMF meter which I use is called the Trifield 100XE. It is a reliable and very simple EMF meter that is used industry-wide. I will provide a link for you in the description below. EMF meter is essentially used to measure the intensity of electrical and magnetic radiation coming off of your electrical lines and electrical devices like your TVs, toaster ovens, fridges, electrical stoves, desktops, monitors, fans, air purifiers, or even simple lamps. So pick up your EMF meter, go around your home and measure the EMF levels around each device. Measure the EMF in off and on modes because believe it or not, some of your devices could still be emitting EMF radiation while they're actually off. When you detect the EMF, which you surely will, slowly move away from the device until the dial goes below three milligauss indication. In the Trifield 100XE EMF meter, it is very easy to spot this. It's a dotted line on your meter, which you can visually see. As long as you're within this range, you should be safe. Next, switch your EMF meter to electrical setting for measuring all of your devices as well as your electrical outlets. EMF electrical fields are usually smaller than magnetic fields and are less of a worry but it's best to measure them and make sure that there is no dirty electricity around your house. And also, just as you did for all of your devices under magnetic setting, also perform this step for all of your devices under electrical setting. Okay, so now let's talk about radio frequency or RF. RF radiation, which is actually in the microwave range, is used by all of your communicating devices, such as your cell phones, Wi-Fi routers, your neighbor's cell phones, your neighbor's Wi-Fi routers, and with the addition of radiation coming out of your microwave ovens. 
which is a very serious health risk. We have made a video previously on that in which I have advised folks to entirely get rid of their microwave ovens and I've shown some of the very robust and great alternatives to your microwave ovens. Make sure you check that out. In any case, my recommendation for RF meter is a Cornet Electrosmog meter. This is a very reliable RF meter, which I use personally. Again, you're able to find the link in the description below. So assuming that you have this RF meter, what you need to do is now turn it on and walk around your house, especially focus on the areas where you spend the most time around, like near your sleeping bed, your couches, dining tables, and your bathrooms. Conveniently, the Cornet Electrosmog Meter comes with a very simple manual that shows you the highest acceptable RF exposures for various countries. For example, the United States, China, and Japan hold any RF radiation over 49 volts per meter as dangerous, while Switzerland, on the other hand, holds the most strict standards and cautions against any RF radiation over 6 volts per meter. So my recommendation is, no matter where you live, use the lowest acceptable limit as your standard of acceptance. In this case, obviously Switzerland. The Cornet Electrosmog Meter also has a visual light with green, yellow and red colors of indication for easy detection of hot areas and devices around your house. So once again, I want to make it clear and emphasize over and over that today with the increased use of digital and communication technology and the vast expansion of electrical power, electrical devices and cell phone towers going up in every corner of your city, having an industry standard EMF meter and a very reliable RF meter is an absolute must for your health and the health of your children. You need to have these devices just as you possess, for example, a vegetable juicer or anything else that you own to protect your health. All right, there is so much to say, but before this video gets too long, we should end it here. But please stay tuned, we will be doing many more videos on EMF and RF radiation, and I will give you more tips on how you can reduce and eliminate your exposure or shield yourself from dangerous levels of radiation from RF and EMF sources. In closing, if you like the information we provide here, please spread the message by liking and sharing this video. And you're also free to comment with your own recommendations or questions. And if you're new to our channel, please support our journey by subscribing or with your kind donations. Please find the links below. And as I always say, let's learn from nature together one step at a time. God bless.